Now to other big stories tonight impacting communities all across the state. Deanie Wimmer in southern Utah with a look at the issues that are driving voters to the ballot boxes. But first, an emotional discussion about gang violence in Sandy. Debbie Worthen live for us right now with one group's push here to get gang members out of their schools. Debbie? Yeah, that's right, Mike. In fact, there was not a dry eye in the room as Kian Hamilton's mother addressed the Canyons District School Board. Her son was stabbed to death earlier this summer by another teen who police say is a known violent gang member. Now, her comments did not fall on deaf ears. The superintendent vowed tonight to make aggressive and meaningful change. 8.54, and he said, Mom... I have been stabbed. I love you. A heartbreaking moment from Kian Hamilton's mother. He was my only son in my whole future, my whole life. I'm just a baseball dad and my son was killed. And uh, that's why we're here. In late August, Jason and Don's 16-year-old son, Kian Hamilton, was stabbed to death off school grounds. The death brought hundreds of teens from across the valley to a vigil. Now parents want change on who can be allowed to attend in-person school. One suggestion, force those with violent records to attend online. They're not going to meet in a big taxpayer-funded gang clubhouse every day. David Gaddy, just one of a handful of parents that attended the Canyon School Board about change. I don't feel safe for these kids. I think we've got a big problem. Rick L. Robbins is the superintendent who expressed his condolences and his commitment to school safety. He likes the idea of online learning. But it doesn't necessarily need to be uh, in a regular school setting, so uh, we'll continue to, to work on that. The hard truth is no change in policy will bring Kian back. We don't hear him no more, so it is hard. No mother deserves to live the way I'm living right now because I'm really living in hell. 16-year-old Christopher De La Rosa is accused with murder. He faces those charges as an adult. The superintendent also encouraged the parents here tonight to advocate for change at the state level. Mike, I'll send it back to you. Oh, the words of that mother just break your heart. All right, Debbie, thank you.